Shalom. How is everybody today? For those who don't know me, my name is Stephanie and I share understandings that I receive by God when I read the Word of God. I'm going to share with you an understanding that's going to bring peace of mind. And I asked God last night and he answered and gave me understanding and it arrived around the Feast of Trumpets, which is um, pretty uh, cool. So um, I'm going to blow this shofar and uh, tonight we shall um, all pray for our brothers and sisters uh, to wake up to um, the coming of the day of the Lord where uh, is the beginning of uh, the tribulation. So uh, let's blow our shofars. personally that the shofar at the end of um, Sukkot, that's when the two witnesses, the witnesses for Christ uh, for after being hidden get sent out. So I believe that that's the beginning of the Antichrist reign and the tribulation begins um, after the Passover where death passed over uh, the Israelites and they went into hiding those that believed in Christ. So I believe that some Passover, um, we are going to go into hiding and that would be the beginning of the marriage feast. And five months later would be Sukkot, where after we celebrated that, uh, we would go out against the Antichrist. So I just wanted to clarify that. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna share with you a little bit more understanding and some scripture that's gonna bring some peace of mind. Um, everything's written down in the last days um, for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. And we get that by asking um, from God because it says in the Bible that when we ask, we shall receive, that when we knock, that the doors should be open. Okay, so let's um, start. I'm gonna read in the book of John. We're gonna read John chapter eight, 31. 347 and then I'm going to cruise um, through John a little bit backwards and then read in some chapters uh, some scripture in the book of Luke and then I'll share with you the understanding the truth shall make you free then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him if you abide in my word you are my disciples indeed and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Then they answered him, we are Abraham's descendants and have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you made, you may be free? And Jesus answered them, most assuredly I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave of sin and a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Therefore, if the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. I know that you are Abraham's descendants, but you seek to kill me because my word has no place in you. I speak what I have seen with my father and you do what you have seen seen with your father they answered and said to him Abraham is our father Jesus said to them if you were Abraham's children you would do the works of Abraham but now you seek to kill me a man who has told you the truth which I heard from God Abraham did not do this you do the deeds of your father then they said to him we were not born of fornication we have one father god jesus said to them if god were your father you would have loved me for i proceeded forth and came from god nor have i come of myself but he sent me why do you not understand my speech because you are not able to listen to my word you are of your father the devil and the desires of your father you want to do he was a murderer from the beginning 
and does not stand in truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources for he is a liar and the father of it. But because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Which of you convicts me of sin? And if I tell the truth, why do you not believe me? He who is of God hears God's words. Therefore, you do not hear because you are not of God. John chapter 5, 24 through 30. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death into life. Most assuredly, I say to you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father in life, for the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this. For the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear the voice and come forth, those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. I can myself do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is righteous, because I do not seek my, my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. Luke chapter 17, 21. The kingdom of God does not come with observation, nor will they say, see here or see there. For indeed, the kingdom of God is within you. Luke chapter 11, 14 through 23. And he was casting out a demon and it was mute. So it, so it was when the demon had gone out that the mute spoke and the multitudes marveled. But some of them said, he cast out demons by, Beze by Bezalabah and the ruler of the demons. Others testing him sought from him a sign from heaven. But he knowing their thoughts said to them, every thing, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falls. If Satan also is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? Because you say, I cast out demons by Bezalabab, and I cast out demons by Bezalabab, by whom your sons cast them out. Therefore, they will be your judges. But if I cast out demons with the finger of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his own palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger than he comes upon him and overcomes him, he takes from him all the armor in which he trusted and divides his spoils. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. So we're going to read that understanding now. So in John chapter 8, 32, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. And in Proverbs 23, 23, 
God says to buy the truth and to not sell it, and to buy wisdom and instruction and understanding. The mystery revealed at the last trumpet is that the first is last and the last is first. Those in the presence of God, as the kingdom of God has come to you when you stand in authority of Christ Jesus and do as he did on earth, shall be changed and enter the marriage feast and be hidden for five months around the feast of Passover. As it was before, shall be again, as Ecclesiastes chapter one states. For the bride has made herself ready, and these are the wise virgins, those and the foolish who made themselves ready later to enter in. These are hidden five months from the tribulation, and it begins around Passover. They are then sent out forward as Christ's witnesses, the lampstands and the olive trees, while the Antichrist is manifesting signs and wonders and deception on earth. And he sits as the returned Messiah. For two and a half months, the Antichrist deceives even the very elect, while Christ's remnant first fruits, wise virgins, go out to manifest God's power on earth to shine as the lamp stands in the darkness and to lead those out of it. They lay their lives down as Christ did. And they sh and as Christ showed us how and as Christ showed us how to. While the foolish virgins martyr themselves later when they did not get hidden in the wedding feast, but they remained in the tribulation and received manna and white stones to help endure through the tribulation as witnesses against the Antichrist. For the foolish did not enter the feast and the ones that martyred themselves received a white robe and are under the altar of God to be raised in the first resurrection. For those who follow the shepherd where he leads. And God led um, us to follow him through that narrow gate. Together with the wise virgins. Who entered the marriage feast. In Revelation chapter 11, I'm going to read next. I'm going to start with chapter 15, or 11, verse 15. Then the seventh angel sounded, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying that the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the 24 elders who sat before God on their thrones fell on their faces and worshiped God, saying, We give you thanks, O Lord God Almighty, the one who is and the one who who was and the and who is to come because you have taken your great power and reigned the nations were angry and your wrath has come in the time of the dead and the time of the dead that they should be judged that you should reward your servants and prophets and saints and those who fear your name small and great and you should destroy those who destroy the earth then the temple of God was opened in heaven, and the ark of his covenant was seen in his temple, and there was lightnings and noises and thunders and an earthquake and great hail. Chapter 11, 1 through 14. Then I was given a reed like a measuring rod, and an angel stood saying, 
rise measuring the temple of God and the altar of those who worship there. But leave out the court which is outside the temple and do not measure it, for it is given to the Gentiles and they will tread the holy city under foot for 42 months. And I will give power to my two witnesses and they will prophesy 1,260 days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands before the God of the earth. And if anyone wants to harm them, fire proceeds from their mouth and devours their enemies. And if anyone wants to harm them, he must be killed in this manner. These have power to shut heaven so that no rain falls in the so no rain falls in the days of their prophecy. And they have power over waters to turn them to blood, to strike the earth with all plagues as often as they desire. When they finish their testimony, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit will make war against them, overcome them, and kill them. And their dead bodies will lie in the streets of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Then those from the people's tribes, tongues, and nations will see their dead bodies three and a half days and not allow their dead bodies to be put into graves. And those who dwell on the earth will rejoice over them, making merry and send gifts to one another because these two prophets tormented those who dwell on the earth. Now, after the three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered them and they stood on their feet and great fear fell on those who saw them. And they heard a loud voice come from heaven to sin, come up here. And they ascended to heaven in a cloud and their enemies saw them. In the same hour, there was a great earthquake and a tenth of the city fell in the earthquake 7,000 people were killed and the rest were afraid and gave glory to God of heaven. The second woe is past. Behold, the third woe is coming quickly. Blessed are those who participate in the first resurrection for the second death has no power over them. And they shall be as priests and reign together with God for 1,000 years. These are those who follow the Lamb where he leads, as Christ witnesses during the tribulation against the Antichrist. Then Satan and his army gather against Jerusalem during the battle of Armageddon. And the good and, and God locks up Satan for a thousand years afterwards and pours out the vials and plagues on the earth for the next six months. As Daniel's 70 weeks vision tells the length of the shortened tribulation for the elect's sake, Christ will return to gather his wheat in the barn and take those alive and left from the tribulation, those unmartyred believers without garments, to teach them outside the gates on the four corners of the earth for a thousand years. For they got deceived, God's election and um, the rest of the Gentiles who followed after Satan. But he shows mercy as prophesied and teaches the deceived believers a thousand years outside the gates of the kingdom. For when Christ returns and stands on Mount Olives, he splits the mountain and makes a valley for those in Judea to flee to and to teach them the truth as Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. Back to God, our Father, our creator in heaven. Those who made themselves ready stand with God before the tribulation and they are changed their bodies from corruptible into incorruptible and those foolish election unmartyred are carried through the tribulation and are caught up in the air at his second coming the truth to see, see the truth 
and go up to the feast. And then they know the truth. And then they go up to the feast of Booth each year, as in Zechariah chapter 14, to give offerings outside the gates of the kingdom. And those who do not will receive no rain. As during the thousand years with Christ, we shall live and grow and plant and teach. So without rain, no growth occurs. And when the devil is released to tempt those that he deceived once again, those who did not grow in God's teaching because they had no rain could get deceived once more and fall into the lake of fire with the one that they followed there, the devil. When Christ's thousand years begins, millennial reign, the earth shall be as it was before, when Adam and Eve lived in the garden, when we walked together with God. Those with Christ, the wise virgins, received the promise of Abraham and the election, and those who got deceived stay outside the gates and weep and gnash their teeth for not participating in the promise, but waiting and learning the truth that they fail to learn while in the flesh. They get God's mercy and are taught outside the gates of the kingdom in their changed spiritual bodies as flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. To then be saved from the second death after the thousand year reign, as this is our salvation for believing on Jesus. And the second death is of the spiritual body and is at judgment. And for those who receive um, salvation for believing on Jesus are then judged for the works that they did after believing. For we are all assigned a position in the kingdom of God to labor and to sow seeds and to sow and buy the truth and to give to others and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Those resurrected those resurrected first get to be judges with god and are not in judgment for god judged them when they stood against the devil and he and they they have already passed when the others did not those who came against god and jerusalem at the battle of armageddon will stand and rot outside the kingdom as the final plague is given to those who are wicked for a thousand years and unbelievers who got deceived and and unbelievers who got deceived then before judgment the son of man speaks over the dry bones and they live again and he joins israel and judah together on one stick to live with him for all of eternity after judgment God's mercy is great and his love is endless. This is the love story for you to have peace of mind in God's word so that we do not fear, but trust God and believe all of his promises and we get rewarded by being prophets and saints in the end. For this is the, the prophecy that is fulfilled in God's word. Read it and you will not be deceived. Believe it and you will be given power and authority to be used as Christ's witnesses and to ask and receive for oil in your lamp as a bought purchase from God and sell love to your neighbor and cast out demons and serve the least of these. The, the truth of the planted seeds grow into fruitful trees. And the deeds of the righteous build your garments to wear in with God inside the kingdom. The banquet is ready. Are you ready to attend before the day of the Lord begins? Let's pray. Father God, in Jesus' mighty name, thank you so much for everybody who came to this video. I pray for everyone to have eyes to see and ears to hear, and for all of us to bring this to you, and for you to give them understanding and direct them in scripture if they have any misguiding or ill teachings that have been taught to them through man's doctrine. Please cast all man's doctrine out of our minds, and please 
fill our minds only with your word and your truth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and believe. Amen. Shalom, and I pray that you have a blessed week.